Now, ladies and gentlemen, CSGO's new trademark for Source 2 in a limited test build for macOS and Linux has been completed, or more so ported over. It seems to be every waking minute Source 2 grows closer and closer to release. Every video I make discussing recent leaks, either minutes or hours later, big or small, a whole new boatload of information comes out that usually ends up being pretty huge. Yesterday after my video with Valve responding to the community on Twitter regarding Source 2, which was a first, just a couple hours later, some new data mines came out regarding Valve's new logos for Source 2 and how a limited test build, not for PC, but for Mac OS and Linux, which is basically going to be for the Steam Deck, has now been ported over and is currently being polished. In today's video, we're going to have a deep dive on Source 2's most recent developments. Today's video sponsor is Market.csgo. Market.csgo is a buying and selling marketplace for your skins, but most importantly, a peer-to-peer -peer site. So the wait times in between trading, buying, or selling are as low as possible. The marketplace has over 100,000 trades a day and even a built-in tab to find the best deals to make the most amount of profit possible. It also has a built-in client via download or Chrome to make trading very profitable, but most importantly, as safe as possible. Selling is as easy as the click of a button with extremely low fees, that of course being 5%. Definitely one of the best in its field and gives you an edge versus other competition. Once you sell an item, it goes directly to your balance. From there, you can choose to cash out with many different options, many more than other rival sites. Market.csgo is one of the best of its competition. With its low selling fees, scam-proof client, and a large amount of cash out options, I can't recommend this site enough. If interested, it'll be the top of the link in the description below. Firstly, I want to talk about CSGO's new banner chain, what it could mean, and the history there regarding it. So CSGO's Twitter has been a meme, a laughing stock, because they haven't talked to the community and they haven't given us really anything on Twitter, surrounding Source 2 anyway. With their banner, people have taken it really seriously, going as far as to invert the colors in the past, which reveals something underneath the actual background itself. Later on throughout the past few months, Valve has updated their banners, with just saying it's a banner, nothing more, we promise. And then just as of yesterday, after our recent Source Source 2 video, they updated it to this, which is their new trademark logo, but not for Source 2. This is their new man for Counter-Strike, their new little PNG image, possibly what the CSGO logo for the game is going to look like on Steam, but instead of one guy, it's five. Now, people have made some memes where they're going to be associated with five guys, burgers, and fries, but I can pretty much confirm that's not going to happen. Now, what most people are thinking, since there's five players, it could mean one of many things, but the main ones being, it could just be for a new game mode that's obviously 5v5, which I don't think that'd be it. There'd probably be a lot bigger of an announcement, and they do a lot more than just change a background for something like that, but it could mean five days until Source 2, which is going to be around the exact same day that number one is the Tuesday weekly maintenance update. It's going to be on a weekday, which is very important. Updates, unless they're game breaking or market breaking, don't get rolled out on the weekends. But the juiciest part about this is CSGO has been responding with Office GIFs. There's obviously a map, CS Office, which was made around the exact same time Office the TV show was made. Since Valve devs love updating Office, love the TV show, and love responding with it, many people think it's going to come out the exact same day Office released. And this is just a countdown. How we're really going to know about that in the next couple of days, if we see these little people start to get removed or shrink just by a little bit, I'll be sure to update you. But that I think will be the countdown to Source 2. Just as of yesterday, Aquarius tweeted out saying there's new Counter-Strike trademarks, which this is something that's been pretty well known in the community for the past few months. And there is actually a whole website to this. Now, this is a trademark for video game education and video game entertainment. It's by Valve. This is all the legal stuff you can look at that is pretty public. And for most recent reports, it seems to be Valve wants to transition the title CS go to CSGO Source 2, which would make it seem like it's a different game, but realistically it's not. It's just CSGO with a better engine. They can make the game run better and make the game last longer. Just the past few days, we talked about how a limited test build, an alpha or a beta of Source 2, has been made for Windows at least as of right now, and while that could roll out whenever, that said build was also ported over to Mac OS and Linux, which the Steam Deck, if many people don't know, is Valve's big new system that they've been showcasing the past couple of years that CSGO can obviously run on. They want it to run on there. And that just goes to add and show that we're getting closer and closer and how it's most likely also going to be optional that you can opt in or out of this said beta or alpha, whatever it is, how it's not going to be out fully for at least the first couple of years. Now, for people wanting to see these updates before anyone else can, especially when it comes to content creation, you go to Steam DB, you go to the most played games. CSGO is most likely going to be at the top 24 seven. You click on that. Now, this does look scary, very confusing. All you have to do is go to DLCs in the bottom left, and this shows the downloadable content. Now, this is Operation Riptide. This is Operation Broken Fang. You're probably wondering where the other ones are. The reason these have been added, well, they've been recently added to the blog post alongside some other things, but that's something for a different time. This right here is apparently Source 2, which sooner or later it's going to go public, possibly before or after the Paris Major. And two people I suggest you go follow on Twitter are one, Aquarius, but also Gabe Follower. They're both data miners and leakers when it comes to CSGO updates. They know things before everyone else. They also explain things better than anyone else can. Gabe Follower has a whole channel pretty much debunking certain things and has even made his own version 
version of Source 2, which Valve actually asked him to take down because it was too scarily similar. That pretty much wraps up for today's video and leaks surrounding Source 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.